She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something bad if So I just got done letting my Cricut cut out the eight and a half by 11 outline and it looks pretty good. I think I'm just gonna use this little weeding tool and um, pick out all the masking tape that's left over. some bad news look how unevenly these cut I think I must have printed it wrong or something because the registration marks here you see how the print doesn't even line up with the cut so I think I actually printed it wrong so I need to test some printing stuff before I continue to cutting but I thought it would be fine but anyways it doesn't matter it's just a test I will try again and hopefully it'll get fixed but this one turned out pretty good and I like all the colors I think the colors turned out nice and smooth so Let's try one more time.
so after like a couple hours of testing these prints and everything i finally got it somewhat okay i as you saw i had to literally duct tape my cricut mat but anyways the point is i wanted to update you guys about the sticker so it's pretty good i guess but it's still slightly off like you see how here on the leg here it's not even and i'll show you guys that on my actual psd all the lines are even so i need to go because i have somewhere to be and i'm gonna be gone for the whole weekend because i'm going to see my family but ah, i'm just so frustrated and irritated and i can't believe my cricket mat literally snapped in half i'll have to try again when i'm back on sunday night probably hopefully it goes better and i get it all fixed and i can finally make some proper stickers Hey guys, so today I wanted to update everyone on how my shipping went for Chit Chat and that's what I showed in my last vlog I believe. My last clip was me just saying that the last update was them saying that they received the items and that they were just picked up by the Chit Chats people but not by USPS yet. So it's about I would say like two weeks after that clip was recorded and all of my letters except for one have made it to their destinations and two of them were in the US and the three of them were international one being in Italy one in Singapore and one in Switzerland unfortunately the one in the States going to California didn't actually make it there for some reason and I think it's probably because of um, USPS delays and all that so I'm just kind of holding on and waiting I I do think that the letter is lost though, which is really unfortunate and it's not tracked. So I don't actually know where it is. I'm just gonna hope that it turns up eventually. And the next update I have is actually about the last clips that you guys saw of me failing with my suit sprite stickers. They all cut wrong and then um, my Cricut mat snapped in half. So that wasn't good. I also ordered a new corner rounder because the one in my previous vlog that one was bored from my roommate so i wanted to get my own so i would stop using her things and i didn't want to just keep taking her stuff so i figured i'd just get my own but yeah um today after work i'm going to try to work on my cricket again i'm gonna have to do that taping thing again because uh the other mat broke so fingers crossed everything works i don't really know if it's gonna work or not but i really want it to because i want to be able to use all my sticker paper properly and not have to waste such a big border around by using the Cricut Design Space. So that would be really great if I didn't have to do that and it would save me a lot of money, probably, and a lot of time. She likes chocolate covered strawberries and wine She likes notes that say I love you all the time Roses at your feet, baby girl be mine Baby girl be mine Yeah, hey. Pick up your phone, I need your attention My girl so bad, we call her detention I am so glad we moved beyond friendship I am so glad your mama like me Sweat up with Cupid, told to fight me I stole your love, he shot my heart I'm losing breath, it's getting dark I think I might need CPR Tell me, do you love me like I do? Tell me what you willing to prove Cause I ain't got nothing to lose It's true, you mean the world to me the globe, but I know that you the only girl for me And I gotta let you know She likes chocolate covered strawberries and wine She likes notes that say I love you all the time Roses at your feet, baby girl be mine Baby girl be mine Look, you know you the baddest in the game Show you how to blow like Lil Wayne Baby I ain't hard to please 
Girl, tell me what you need. Year round Valentine. I'm just trying to get some time with you. Would you spend a night with me? Maybe spend your life with me. Check me if I'm trifling. Let me be your bestie. Bunny and Clyde will be flexing. Baby, we can stand the test of time. And you ain't even got a second guess that you mean the world to me. I travel around the globe, but I know that you're the only girl for me. And I gotta let you know. She likes chocolate covered strawberries and wine. She likes notes that say I love you all the time. Roses at your feet. Hey guys, I wanted to pop back in because I realized that I forgot to record the proper intro for myself again and I wanted to do it before I forgot. But yeah, um, just wanted to say hi formally to everyone. I'm Ivy. I'm a Canadian game developer and illustrator. I recently graduated from university and I studied game design. And this was a year where, I mean, needless to say, a lot of things have happened and um, a lot of things that we can't control. And it's been a weird year for me too. But Ever since last year, I was thinking about starting an online shop and my best friend slash housemate, Krista, aka It's Luna Lou, her and I have been talking about starting our own online shops for almost a year now, actually more than a year. Yeah, over a year now. Because of school and everything, we couldn't really do it right away. Now that we're working and we have more time to put towards the shop, we have both been working super hard and me starting this YouTube channel was just to document my whole journey. I want to share all of the hardships with you guys because I don't know what I'm doing, I'm starting off, um, I'm gonna make so many mistakes but I wanted to document the whole thing and share that whole experience with you guys and I'm really glad that you're here and I'm glad that you're watching my videos I just really appreciate that you even care enough to be here in the first place so I thank you guys for supporting me and for watching me stumble through this entire thing so fingers crossed everything will turn out well and I'll have a running shop pretty soon and yeah, I will work hard to make content for you guys and I hope that you guys will stick around for the ride. I'm super excited today because I'm finally gonna get to transfer my desk space and I got a new monitor actually I got two new monitors but my bigger one came in today and I've been waiting super long for it I'm just so excited and you guys are gonna see me transfer my desktop let's do it After hours of setting my desk up, I finally have it complete. I idiotically forgot to record a before shot of my desk because I was too excited. Ooh, turn this back on. I was too excited about setting everything up and I didn't think to record a before picture for some reason. So anyways, um, you guys probably might have seen it in my old vlog, my previous vlog, but basically over here, I used to have a desk riser, a dark brown one that went all the way across and it came up to about mm, a little bit less than halfway on my desk. 
So it was great when I had school and everything because I was able to like set up books and whatever papers I was doing on the riser and then have more space. But now it was just really irritating me. And I also wanted to upgrade my monitors because I was using the same like 22 inch ones that I had before. And um, I just wanted an update. So this is a new monitor I have, it's 27 inches. And then the other one I bought is only 24 inches, but it's still bigger than my old one. This monitor was actually like the expensive purchase for this setup, but I really wanted to invest in a new monitor since I had my old ones for probably three or four years since I first built my PC. This is the whole setup so far. I think I might buy some storage bins or something, some clear ones to go on the side. I don't know. I'm so happy with how it looks now and I am just obsessed with it. I love all the clear space. So. I'm excited to be able to get better angles and stuff to film things on my desk and just have more space for when I'm doing stuff for my shop. So I forgot to record a proper outro again. I'm here doing a voiceover, which to be honest, I kind of vibe with it. Last time I did it out of necessity and also this time too because I forgot, but I just wanted to thank you guys for watching and I hope that you enjoyed this vlog. I think my first vlog was kind of more of an experimental thing for me. I wasn't really sure exactly how I wanted things and it was kind of jumbled, but I actually am really proud of this vlog and I feel like it shows more of my personality and also just looks a lot better in my opinion. So let me know what you think down below if you liked it or you didn't like it or there's things you'd like to see please feel free to let me know i would love to chat with you but yeah that's about it i hope you have a great day or night or whenever you're watching this and i'll see you in my next vlog bye guys